Dr. Katie Landier, the Senior Centered Physical Therapist, and welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be doing some isometric exercises to help with knee pain. Isometrics are great because they allow for us to build strength by creating tension in the muscle without moving through the full range of motion. So it's a really fantastic way to improve your strength even if your knees are hurting. For these exercises, you'll need a gait belt or a yoga strap, or even a heavy resistance band, a towel, a chair, and a wall. So get your gear together and let's get started. We are gonna be working the front and back of the legs for this isometric workout. So to start with for our knee extension, we're working our quad muscles. So this group in the front of the leg, and then for our knee flexion, we're gonna be working the hamstrings. So that's semi-membranosis, semi-tendinosis, as well as biceps femoris. For that hip external rotation, we're gonna be working glute max, glute med, as well as some of our deep hip rotators. And then for hip extension, we're working those glutes again, as well as working the hamstrings. And then for our wall squat, we're working the front and the back at the same time. So we'll get hamstrings, we'll get glutes, and we'll get quads. That's all the muscles we are gonna be utilizing in this video, let's get started. Alrighty, we're gonna get started with some knee extension here. So I have already taken my gait belt and put it around my chair. So you can use your thick band or if you're using a yoga strap, whatever it is you have, you're just gonna tie it around the bottom of a sturdy chair. And then I'm gonna take my foot and I'm gonna put it inside the loop of that gait belt. So I just slide it here. And then I'm just gonna kick out into the gait belt. So it's as if I'm trying to straighten my knee and I'm giving it about 70 to 80% of my max effort. So I'm not gritting my teeth, pressing that hard into it. I'm just pressing and allowing for tension to build right here in the quad. And then we're gonna hold and breathe. So we actually wanna hold for about 30 seconds when we're doing these isometrics. So studies have found kind of the longer hold than doing a 10 seconds, you know, three times is actually better for building strength in the muscle. So we're holding for 30 seconds theoretically. And by that, I mean, I am not counting. I'm a physical therapist. I do not do well with counting. So if I were doing this at home, I would set a timer for 30 seconds. And then as soon as that timer goes off, I can just gently release that pressure, take a little rest, and then I would repeat each of these exercises for three sets total. Next, we're gonna do some hip external rotation. So for this, I'm rotating my knee out and my foot up. And I'm finding that press of my ankle up into the gait belt. And even though we're moving the knee, we're pressing at the ankle, I'm actually feeling this in the glutes. So those are my big external rotators of the hip and I'm just gonna hold that for 30 seconds. And it's really the hip that helps with knee stability. The hip to me is kind of magic, actually. I tell my clients all the time, if everybody worked their hips more, I would completely be out of a job. No one would have knee pain, people would have less back pain, less ankle pain, everything. So we really, really wanna focus on the hip strength as well as knee strength to reduce knee pain. So we'll say that's in 30 seconds, and we're gonna release it. Next, I'm gonna take my foot out of the gait belt and we're gonna do some knee flexion. So I'm gonna grab my towel here. So you can use that same chair, just slide the gait belt out of the way. And I'm just gonna take my towel, it's already folded, and I'm putting it against the leg of my chair. And then I'm gonna pretend I'm bending my knee as much as I can. So this is gonna get the back of the leg, the hamstrings and I bend, 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 still that 70% effort, breathing, letting that tension build, trying not to curl or extend the toes, just allowing the foot to relax as we bend that knee. And we're gonna hold that for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna take our rest. Feel free to repeat on the other side. So even if you don't have knee pain on one side, you can use these to help prevent knee pain and still build strength around the knee to support it. Next, I'm gonna stand it up and take it to the wall. 
All right, it's time for what I call the ultimate isometric, and that's the wall squat. So I'm gonna back up against my wall here, and making sure if you're against the door like I am, it's nice and firmly closed and no one's gonna come in from the other side is important. But I'm gonna keep my feet about hip distance apart and I'm gonna walk them out a little bit and then I'm just gonna slide myself down that wall. And I am feeling this in the back of the legs, in the quads, it's kind of all around in the glutes, making sure I'm kind of pointing my glutes towards the floor so I'm not overly arching the back. So. We're just gonna sit here. And this is a long one to hold for 30 seconds. So if you can start with five seconds, that is great. So whatever is a challenge for you, but you don't feel like you're gonna fall to the floor at the end of it, that's what I want. So after whatever time you held for, you take that nice deep inhale, and then you stand it on up, and then you can walk your feet back underneath you, take a rest, and do three sets. Next, I'm gonna do my hip extension. So I'm gonna grab my chair here. And I'm gonna stand nice and tall on my stabilizing leg. I can rest my hands right on the chair. And then I'm just kicking back into the wall. And so this is a little different than what we did earlier with the towel because that was flexing the knee. This is keeping the knee nice and straight and I'm pressing the whole leg back. So I feel it in the glutes, I feel it in the hamstrings. I'm just gonna hold for my 30 seconds and take those nice deep breaths. <sighs> Making sure too I'm not dumping in this other hip so I'm not shifting away from it, but I'm standing up nice and tall. And I'll take one more deep breath. Let's assume that's been 30 seconds. You know it's been 30 seconds. And then we'll gently release. Find a little shake of those legs. And then you have just completed this isometric workout routine. So remember, you can revisit this exercise routine to really help build strength, even while you have knee pain. Until next time, I'm Dr. Katie Landier, the Senior Centered Physical Therapist. Have the strength to live life to the fullest. Bye for now.